Hi, I'm David Fleming from the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel where we are focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. Now, we're studying the book of Romans, and last week we studied Romans chapter 9, centering our attention on Jesus being the stone of stumbling and the rock of offense. Now, in light of that, I wanted to bring to you a prophecy that was uh, given at my church in uh, the early part of 1922. Listen to this. Church, get ready for the time of offense is upon you. Church, be prepared for the time of stumbling is coming. Church, be ready for the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is a rock of offense and a stone of stumbling. But the outcome is going to be a church that has been put, that has put their trust in the living God who is far above that which you have ever known, far above what you have ever imagined. He is God. His name is Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. He is worthy of all your trust. Amen, amen, amen. Get ready, get ready, get ready. God is coming on the scene. He will be more than a rock of offense. He will be the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Almighty God, putting to rest the works of darkness forever. Amen. Wow. Now, when that prophecy was given at the church that I pastored in Miami, Florida in uh, 1922, um, it was certainly gripping, but we would have to all admit that that time has come upon us. Yes, a time of stumbling. And haven't we seen that? So many people that have been leaders in the church just stumbling and some even uh, rejecting that which they had held dear, their relationship with Jesus. So a time of offense, a time of stumbling. But what are we to do in such a time as this? How are we to stand strong and be victorious when Jesus does come as a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense that the word so clearly says that he will come? Well, that's what we're going to be studying this week. So I, I invite you to join with us as we look at Romans chapter 10 that's going to give us this answer. Because see, by believing in and hearing to and proclaiming the message that God has given us in Christ, we're going to be victorious in these times of stumbling. And what has he given us? Jesus has given us the word of faith. Let's study, it, study about it together. So I'll see you tomorrow.